Hello and welcome. I'm Darren Hermans with Cambium Networks and the Enterprise Wi-Fi Group. Today we're going to talk about unboxing the XV2-23T Outdoor Wi-Fi 6 Access Point. Now this AP was not introduced all by itself. There's actually two companion APs released about the same time. One is of course the of course the the 21X, which is a ceiling mount AP for indoor applications, and a wall plate indoor access point, the 22H. Uh, those other videos, uh, other topics, those other APs are covered by other videos, so you can easily find the information on those. Today we're going to talk about this 23T Outdoor Wi-Fi 6 AP. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with that. Now we take our box up here to the table now. What I always say is flip the box over immediately, and first thing you want to do is scan that QR code. That's going to take you right online to a website where you can download the installation guides. You can see pictures of the installation. You can download the management information as well and understand how to use this new AP. Let's go ahead and open it up inside, see what's inside the box. First thing is going to be our regulatory guide, a regulatory leaflet. And I know you're all very familiar with this technology. You're professionals. You've done this before. But I do encourage you to scan through the uh, the regulatory leaflet at least one time just to make sure that you're still understanding the proper applications of this AP. Now taking it out of the box, we actually have very few parts necessary and everything you need is right here in the one box. Nice compact design in packaging and form factor. Let's take it out of the bag. Now here's your AP. There is a there is a clear plastic liner over the logo so that you can uh, just a fingerprint smudge proof the, the logo of the AP. You can peel that off when you're done. Now flipping it on the back side, you'll notice as you sort of rotate around this AP, it has a new design. It's a back bevel to it. It gives it a nice compact look when it's installed on the wall or on a pole. And it actually is very compact and it actually even appears smaller than it actually is. It's a very nice AP. I think you'll like the, the aesthetics of it. Now the housing on the back is actually integrated, the, the mounting plate is integrated into the back housing of the access point itself. So we can, uh, we can easily mount this uh, with, if you want to mount it to a wall, there, it, it comes in with four wall anchors included and four screws, long wood screws. So we can mount to these four points here and we can mount the AP to the wall. And the, uh, the information on that is of course found online if you snap that QR code. Very common uh, type of installation though is going to be pole mounting the AP. So two pole mounts are included, one for the top, one for the bottom. I'll go around the pole, tighten it up, and that's going to be actually a very common type of uh, installation is mounting the access point over a pole. Now you'll notice that the we've confined the hot, hot components inside the AP to this area down here towards the bottom. And this is where we put a very efficient heat sink design. So what this does is this helps us to free up additional space here on the side so we don't have a heat sink that's going to interfere with the antenna performance. So now we're able to optimize the antenna design for omnidirectional performance. So this is what the AP looks like on the back and the front. Now flipping over the bottom, this is where we're going to find our Ethernet port. That is one uh, gigabit Ethernet port with PoE N. Now to connect to it, we have a, a grommet wire assembly here. There's three parts to this. Let's go ahead and take a look at these three parts. All right, we have, whoop, here we go. All right, we have the cable housing itself. We have a rubber grommet and a, a, a compression nut. Let's take a look at all three of these pieces. Here's an ethernet cable, so make it convenient. All right, first we feed the compression nut through the cable through the compression nut. And then we want to separate our rubber grommet, put that around our ethernet cable like that, and then run it through the housing, the grommet housing itself, the cable housing. Now we're not going to tighten up the compression nut yet. Before we, before we do that, we're going to connect our RJ45 cable right to RJ45 port inside the AP. We're going to take our housing and we're going to go ahead and just tighten that up here. Now, you normally do, you don't need to over tighten this. You just need to be just tight enough, really, to com to compress that O-ring, and that will give you that watertight IP67 seal. Then we take our compression nut and we tighten it up again to compress that grommet in there, and that compresses around the cable. 
and now we have a watertight IP67 connection to this outdoor access point. So that is that is the XV2-23T outdoor Wi-Fi 6 access point. It is 2x2 dual radio with 1 gigabit Ethernet port uplink with PoE in. It has an omnidirectional antenna. It's managed by CN Maestro Cloud, managed by CN Maestro on premises, and it's IP67 environmentally rated and a very compact size. This new AP is now available to global distributors of Cambi Networks products, available anywhere in the world. So I hope you enjoy this, uh, this short video and thank you for your time. Have a nice day. Thank you.